Good morning, everyone. Glad you are with us on this Friday morning here in uh, Saskatoon. It's a wonderful day. I hope it's wonderful wherever you are, too. So yesterday we decided uh, to begin a journey through the gifts, uh, plural, as opposed to the fruit, singular, of the Spirit. And God has dispersed and distributed gifts of the Spirit. And it's kind of like the gathering around the Christmas tree. Uh, one gets four gifts, and one gets three gifts, and one gets six gifts, and they kind of vary a little bit uh, in terms of what people get. But everybody here is gifted. We're starting with the gift of prophecy, uh, uh, an important gift, an essential gift. Paul, I think, would want us to understand that it's a paramount gift. He says in verse number 1 of 1 Corinthians chapter 14, Pursue love, yet desire earnestly spiritual gifts, especially that you may prophesy. There's something special about this gift. It's paramount. It's... It's important. It's an exceptionally important gift. I would uh, render to say, suggest to, suggest to you today that if uh, we don't have prophets, God, the gospel of God doesn't go forward. So let me give you a definition of uh, the ministry of prophecy uh, today. Uh, for those of you who are note takers, the special ability. So we'll start every definition with that phrase, the special ability. God gives people special abilities in certain areas to know and understand God's heart and will for specific situations and moments and deliver it. Uh, so to know and understand God's heart and will for specific situations and moments and to deliver it. And so it's a paramount gift. And then uh, I think it has three purposes. And Pastor Donna is going to chime in here. Uh, 1 Corinthians 14 verse 3. Uh, it's the one who prophesies speaks to man for number one, edification, building them up. Number two, exhorting them. Hey, brother, this is what you need to do. And number three, uh, consolation and or comfort. Uh, so prophets edify people, exhort people, and bring uh, comfort. Dive in, Mrs. D. Well, this uh, is probably one of the most difficult gifts to uh, describe or to to teach because there is lots of confusion uh, around this gift um, and I think some of it comes from the fact that we have this understanding of the way the prophets uh, lived out their lives in the Old Testament and we have their words here um, the things that they spoke and we, we can actually see that a lot of well everything that the prophet spoke came true and is today even coming true. Uh, and so we see this gift of prophecy. So now how does that uh, look like in, or what does that look like in our church today? So we definitely do have people that God has gifted with the gift of prophecy. And they have this unique um, entunement to maybe hear and receive uh, instruction from from the Holy Spirit that they um, are then able to give give to us <clears throat> be it guidance be it encouragement and even be it correction um, but the, the the New Testament reminds us that that these words again are spoken by humans and so the Holy Spirit encourages us to to test those words uh, we we don't have the the uh, advantage of them already be written down and and proven true. So we need to pr prove those words true. We need to be cautious. We need to check ourselves. If there's instruction given to me, I need to check myself and see if that is something that God is speaking to my heart and to agree with that word that is being encouraged to me. And at the same point, John has often talked about that these gifts are certainly given uh, to certain people. We each have a gift, but we all have, we perhaps have different gifts. And so the gift of prophecy is given to certain individuals within our church, uh, within the church, I should say, um, to encourage, to uh, bless, and to correct, and to uh, 
encourage us. But I, we, we also know that we can all operate in, in measure in these gifts, in the fact that this is the way that God wants us to live, live our lives out. And so, I, would, I would call it normal Christian living. Normal Christian living, John calls it, and that's so true. So, just because so some have the special ability, but all of us also need, live in this realm of the normal. Exactly. So, so although you may have you know, somebody who, do, who says that they are a prophet... We each have the ability to speak into one another's lives. And maybe it's at a much um, simpler level. And I think of the story of Jesus blessing the children. Jesus took the children on his knee and scripture tells us that he blessed them. And that is prophecy. That is uh, speaking out of God's words to encourage, to uh, build up someone else. And so... Um, I, I don't feel I have this gift of prophecy in my life. I've never really experienced an occasion where I felt um, the Holy Spirit speaking through me so directly uh, about a circumstance. But I have, I have certainly had moments where I have just felt the Holy Spirit guiding me to uh, speak a specific word of encouragement to someone or a specific uh, word of blessing or a specific word of caution and and so that again is as John says is ordinary Christian living we operate in that because we are spirit-filled people but I am thankful for the prophets that God places within the church um, in order to have us hear that that clear sounding word yeah we're gonna have to come back tomorrow and and uh, chat about this more because there's so much to to cover here the reality is um, this gift of prophecy uh, is really important in the life of, of believers in the life of uh, local churches in the life of the worldwide church and we need to be very careful and I think uh, Pastor Donna may be uh, underestimating her herself in this area but we need to be very careful um, not to think that this gift is primarily um, exercised in the gathering of 30 people or 50 people or 300 people or 3,000 people on a weekend or at a rally somewhere I think the prophetic gift and I pray Father it will be released uh, in a great way today even among us who are listening um, the prophetic gift is meant to be taking place when you're having a cup of tea with your girlfriend mm -hmm. and God gives you an encouraging word a word of comfort the prophetic gift is meant to be uh, exercised on the work site, work site when the guy beside you is talking about something that's going through his life and you can exhort him and say you know God's got a way out here and this is what you need to do brother it's not these moments in the church service where something glorious happens although that can be part of it but I think most often it's exercised in these small groups of two or three or one a friend just driving down the road on a trip to somewhere so just ask God because 1 Corinthians 14 1 tells us to especially desire this special ability to speak God's word for the moment into people's lives uh, it can be a life changer for our churches and communities so anything you want to wrap up with there Don or uh, you want to save it for tomorrow no I think I'll save it for tomorrow good come back tomorrow she's got something to say <laughs> tomorrow confuse you some more. <laughs> Oh, Lord, you're good. I thank you for uh, this opportunity to share your word. I thank you, Lord, for uh, everyone who's listened in. I mm -hmm. pray, Lord, you'd fill their heart with courage today. You'd fill their hearts with peace. And, Father, may they walk with this real understanding that today you may want them to just prophesy a little bit, speak into somebody's life of the goodness and grace of God. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 So we will see you. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. Thanks for joining Bye. us.